West Yorkshire has the highest burglary rate in the country and there's a particular type of break-in that started here in Bradford that's on the increase. As I've been finding out, there's a lock that's fitted to millions of homes up and down the country that can be broken in seconds. My one wish would be to get rid of all these cylinders. Um, they're very weak. They still sell them in DIY stores. He said, the laptops have gone, the mobiles have gone, everything's gone. The Xbox has gone, everything that was down here that was sellable. Believe it or not, it will only take two minutes, 30 seconds to go through a whole house. Right, then I'll let uh, a little dust around and see what I can find. Woodhouse in Leeds, and this is an increasingly familiar site for scenes of crime officers across West Yorkshire. It was about three o'clock this morning and uh, I woke up because I heard a loud bang. Um, so I went and woke up my boyfriend, he got up and went downstairs. We had a look outside the window but we couldn't sort of see anyone around. Um, so we went back to bed and didn't think much more of it. When we got up this morning to go to work, we opened the front door and we found that the outside of the front door lock had actually been sort of prized open, sort of jimmied open. And Rebecca is by no means alone. Locksmiths working for this security firm reckon they've been called out almost every day to break-ins where the lock has been snapped. The policeman came around this morning and had a look at the lock. He explained that really it was, sort of a, it was a more old-fashioned type of lock um, and he was the one who recommended that we actually had the new style of lock put in. This is what's called a Euro profile lock and they're fitted to millions of homes across the country, usually in UPVC doors. Now the problem is that some burglars have discovered how easy it is to break them and then walk in through your front door. Lock snapping first started in the Bradford area and now more than a quarter of all burglaries in West Yorkshire use this method. Peter Findlay is a career burglar who's recently been released from prison. He says he's now going straight, but reckons he's burgled literally thousands of homes. So what does he make of the Euro cylinder locks? If I had the best lock picks in England, I wouldn't bother using them. Just um, snap lock. It's more simpler, quicker. And it's a problem that's growing. Since 2009, the figures for this type of burglary have risen steadily in West Yorkshire. So what can be done about it? If you're not sure about the standard and quality of your locks, contact your local crime reduction officer who will provide advice free of charge. Um, think about getting in touch with one of the not-for-profit organisations, um, of which there are a number in West Yorkshire alone. The Association of Chief Police Officers are working with the door and lock industry to come up with a new British standard for locks, but at the moment there are no locks on the market which come up to the new standard. The locks are vulnerable to, uh, to, this, to the specific type of attack, um, but it can take anything between 50 seconds and, uh, and, and two minutes to, 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 to force the lock. What we'd want to do is ensure that the new British standard locks um, are a lot stronger than that and can resist attack. I wouldn't want to put a specific time frame on it, but certainly the testing is extensive uh, and the new locks are now in the process of being tested. So between 50 seconds and two minutes, we've been told that many of these locks can be broken a lot quicker than that. Time to find out. To demonstrate just how easy it is to break into one of these locks, we've brought in a former burglar who's now a security expert and he's going to show us how it's done and we're going to time him. A member of the public has allowed us to test the theory on their front door. OK, the door's locked, so, Michael, you're happy with what you're doing. Yeah. Now, we can't obviously show exactly how you break in, but yeah. uh, ready when you are. OK, I'm ready. Off you go. Fifteen seconds so far. Michael, that was 42 seconds. That was slow. Was it? Very slow, feeling a bit rusty there. But how easy is that to get in, really? 
To be honest with you, I'm very, very surprised how easy it was because that broke off the cylinder so easy and all I had to do then is actually take the mechanism out. And, I mean, that really shows just how easy it is for it someone is. to get in. It's amazing, absolutely amazing. When you look at the security on the, the actual locking, and yet you can get through that cylinder so easy, totally amazed. 42 seconds, and to be fair, this isn't something you're doing every day either, is no, it? So, no. someone who knows what they're doing, I mean, who knows how fast that could have been? I reckon you could cut that down to 15 seconds. Really? It's quite worry then, isn't it? It is. Big worry. We've arranged for security company KSAC to fix the householder's broken lock. The managing director, Neil, is not at all surprised at how quickly Michael was able to get in. It's very easy to do. Um, it's the first time Michael's actually attempted to do that. And, and as I said, uh, it was very, very shocked. We see it day in, day out. So if you took this kind of lock out of circulation, would that go a long way to helping? Yes. That, uh, my one wish would be to get rid of all these cylinders. But that's easier said than done. Although many councils and housing associations have lock replacement programmes, there are still hundreds of thousands of these Euro cylinder locks on homes across Yorkshire. So what's being done about the problem? Well, we've come to the Master Locksmiths Association to find out. At this testing facility in Northamptonshire, they put new locks through a series of tests. Typically, that lock will be operated either 30,000, 50,000 or 100,000 times. So this is all just about checking new locks when they come through the door, Absolutely. make sure they're up to it. This is just pure durability, just really put it through the paces and then after you've done the whatever number of um, operations you want to do, then we try the key in it to, to make sure it's all still operating OK. So what's this? This is what's called a torsion machine. This thing uh, either twists things or pulls things apart or pushes them together. And we've actually set this one up to do a pull test on a lock cylinder. Uh, the lock cylinder's down here, if you can see that. Yeah. This part remains static. This part is actually pulling that way, trying to remove the plug out of the cylinder. So this is basically testing what happens if someone's trying to pull a lock apart. Absolutely, yeah. So when you're testing a lock, you're taking the same approach that a burglar might have? Yeah. We replicate that attack test using certain tools, and we just want to see that that lock performs to a, to a, a certain level. Well, the idea behind that is obviously to delay any kind of burglar who, who wants to get into that property. We want to slow them down as much as we possibly can. But unfortunately, there are still plenty of Euro cylinder locks out there. Only a couple of days after Rebecca Khan was burgled, KSAC are busy attending another lock snapping burglary, this time in the Farsley area of Leeds. I didn't realise the extent of it until my husband came down behind me. He said, the laptops have gone, the mobiles have gone, everything's gone. The Xbox has gone, everything that was down here that was sellable. Christine had thought her locks were secure, but she certainly doesn't now. I was advised this morning that if I took it through my insurance company, they would probably do like for like, and I wasn't happy at the thought of that because I wouldn't feel safe in this house if they put the same kind of locks back on. So I just made some inquiries and the police advised me, and that's why we've got these in. With so many locks on the market, it can be confusing. So if you're not sure about how good your locks are, the best advice is to talk to your local crime reduction officer.